Warning, the following show features experiments and activities done under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, DreamWorks TV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any activity or experiment performed on this show. Hello, and welcome to Gym Class Science. The show where sports is Superman and science is the yellow sun. Today, we'll go into the physics of the perfect hammer throw. And the science behind flammable steel wool. The hammer throw was created in the 1500s by the Scottish after being told by the King of England that weapons were forbidden. Getting the hammers to travel as far as they do relies on centripetal force. This is the force that occurs when moving an object around a circular path, whether it be a hammer around an Olympian or the earth around the sun. In our case, the tension in the rope prevents the hammer from flying away, which allows the athlete to build up speed. And when the athlete then releases the rope, the ball travels much further than if it were simply thrown like a baseball. Sounds hard. Let's give it a shot! When you're spinning around, you can totally feel the centripetal force acting on your body. What if you could see it too? How? By turning our hammers into sparklers. That way we could see the circular direction of the force around our bodies. I'll go buy some sparklers. No need. We can make our own using science. All we need is some steel wool. Steel wool is a common household item made from iron and other alloys. When exposed to fire, the iron and steel wool reacts with the air to create iron oxide. This reaction happens so fast that the metal burns quickly and flakes off, causing sparks to fly. The large amount of oxygen rushing past the steel wool as it swings around will make sure the iron keeps burning. So let's go see centripetal force in motion. Magic boy! Magic boy! <laughs> Thanks for watching Gym Class Science! Where we take sports and science sneaks. Stop!